There's so much assumption that detention is necessary. People have died in detention. People are traumatized in detention. It, it changes the course of someone's life to be in this type of setting. And it's so important that let, we move away from the system altogether. about immigration detention, it's a relatively new system. I think over the years, especially during Trump, people started to really understand the role that detention plays in the deportation machines. They're not there necessarily serving a sentence. They're there just to go through their immigration proceeding. And, and it's a way to facilitate deportation. Having mass detention ensures that this government can move towards mass deportation. Currently, there are 24,000 people in immigration detention, but at the height of the system under Trump, it was at 55,000 people in 2019. ICE has to pay for a certain number of beds, regardless of the number of people on the bed. So they're framing as well. We want all these guaranteed minimums, so we have this bed space regardless of what you need. So, so much of this expansion is happening where counties are really cash strapped and they're saying, well, we have an ICE contract so that we can get 60, $100 a day, et cetera, to hold people in detention. And, you know, it's become this larger sort of detention economy, essentially. There's an incredible amount of state legislation happening across the country where states are saying, no, we don't actually want to do this in our name. A lot of the reason why local communities and states are taking action is be because the federal government won't. Some of these strategies are to target the county or to target the federal government to end the use of immigration detention to stop these contracts. This question around the federal government's approach is a really important one because at some level, again, now that we've seen that despite having some of the lowest numbers of detention in 20 years, ICE and CBP are starting to detain rapidly. The reality is, is that we have a prison industrial complex, and that is a negotiation of how we're going to end the use of mass incarceration. We're in a moment where actually, with the Biden administration in place, they can actually do so much. And so also pushing your members of Congress and getting your members of Congress to support closure of facilities in your communities is really essential. Mm -hmm.